Welcome to Roughing It with Ruth, the channel where everything is a bit rough around the edges. When I've got quite a big multi-day hike coming up, I like to prepare by doing my usual day hike routes, but adding a backpack that's weighted pretty much to the same extent as a multi-day pack would be. But obviously I don't actually want to pack all of my multi-day hiking gear into my bag. For one thing, because a lot of the weight comes from stuff that does have a bit of an expiry date, like food. And for another, because some of my things I don't actually want to stuff into a bag. For instance, my down jacket and my down sleeping bag, I don't want to have them compressed the whole time. So what I do at the moment is I use basically three different things. The one is this. <laughs> so, um, yes, I'm gonna set you down somewhere because this thing's actually really heavy. Let's see if that works. Okay, I hope you don't fall off there. It is a chainmail shirt, a chainmail t-shirt that my husband made. It's quite impressive looking. But it also weighs a ton. And you see it doesn't take up that much space. So it's actually really useful to use this inside a backpack because it gives you quite a lot of uh, weight without a lot of volume. The other thing, if you're wanting something that weighs a lot and doesn't take up a lot of space, definitely water. Water is such a good idea. And water is great because then you have water with you. Then some stuff is stuff that I don't use at all in my day-to-day -day life, like if it's summer and I have a whole lot of winter jackets that I don't wear, then I can stuff those in, or like this really old sleeping bag from my childhood that's synthetic. It's fairly heavy. It feels like it weighs nothing after I picked up that chainmail t-shirt. Here's the finished product. <laughs> As you can see, it's really not bulky at all because I've got such heavy but compact items in here. I've got the sleeping bag at the bottom just to try and make a sort of platform so that the really heavy stuff is a little bit more centered in the bag instead of being way down here. If you pack all of your weight right at the bottom, the bag tends to have a lot of leverage on your shoulders, which isn't great. Um, the only thing is that this is my multi-day pack and it's only got three items in it. The sleeping bag, the five liter water bottle and the chainmail t-shirt. The chainmail t-shirt is t-shirt is in the middle and the water bottle is above that and the problem is that because there's not a lot of stuff even though I've got all of the compression straps cinched down very tight the water bottle can still move around a little bit in the bag because there's not a whole lot of stuff around it you can just add extra stuff but this bag is pretty heavy at the moment already but I'll probably just add a jersey or jacket or something around the water bottle to stop it moving too much I could, I could use this pack instead. This blue one is my day hiking pack. This is only a 28 litre pack. So I would definitely be able to fit the water bottle and chainmail shirt and sleeping bag in here. But I don't want to do that because the 50 plus 10 litre multi-day pack is the pack that I'm going to be wearing for a multi-day hike. And I prefer to use the pack that I'm going to be wearing instead of a smaller pack. Yeah, if you have some tips on how to weight a backpack for training that doesn't involve actually having to pack all of your hiking gear, then please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more.